Hi guys, that is Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to hear, if you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. Yesterday's video, we did the mountain house. Tuesday and Wednesday's show we did the um, MRE strips. <coughs> Excuse me. It had the MRE strips in it. Uh, today we're going to take a little... I can't believe I'm actually having... have had someone suggest I do this video because of the nature of it. I just thought people were brighter than this, but apparently not. I have a friend. She works for one of our local hospitals. She's an RN. And she took me off to the side the other day and told me a story about a family that came in. A fairly well-to-do family. And I had seen a little write-up in our local paper about this very subject. They were warning against it. What am I talking about? Guys, dog food is not for human consumption. Dog food is for for Fido. Cat food is for kitty. Do not eat it. I know that in some movies the one that pops out in my mind is Road Warrior. Uh, Mad Max the Road Warrior. He's sitting on top of a hill under a tarp in his car watching a battle down on down in the valley and he's eating a can of dog food. Folks, don't do it. Don't even attempt it. This family that I'm talking about is all suffering from botulism. The youngest member of the family liked to die. They decided, and I, I asked some questions, why? Because they're, they're a fairly well-to-do family. They're not rich, but, you know, Dad's got a good job. Mom's got a very good job. And unfortunately, I know both of them. But I can't ask any questions because that would let them know HIPAA's been, been breached. <sighs> Guys, and I have, I, I've heard people in the past say that they they get uh, milk bones and we'll crush them up and put a little milk with them and it seems to be good folks I've told you in the past I've told you in the past that I used to drive a truck for a living so let me tell you what some of the items I hauled was was dog food I've hauled Purina. I hauled for a company called Merrick out of Hereford, Texas over here. And I hauled for some smaller companies over in Oklahoma. Now to get to the superintendent's office on just about every one of these places, you've got to walk walk 
through the canning floor. Number one, I don't know how those guys work in that place as bad as it smells. Number two, there is nothing sanitary at all about those places. You know, I was looking in one of the one of the vats, and I don't know if it was a mouse or a baby baby uh, possum or what that was in there, but it was in there. And I said something to the guy, one of the workers there, and he said, Ah, it'll grind up. Dogs don't care. Folks, if you get botulism, you can die from it, if not treated quickly enough. Please, do not, unless you have dogs... Do not even consider having dog food as part of your preps. Why does this happen every time I start a video? Let's see who's calling. Oh, now, one of the appointments for later today. So, folks, please, don't, don't get dog food. Um, it's just a quick way to get sick. And, I, I'm sorry, folks, it's just, it floors me, and it's beyond my thought process of anybody even considering eating pet foods. Because after seeing how they're made, I'll guarantee you, you would even, you would not even consider feeding it to your dogs and cats. Is how bad it is. Now Hans, Hilda, and Satori, they get it because I don't keep it. If they don't eat it all, it goes in, it goes down the garbage disposal. Because there's no way in heaven's name I want them getting sick. It's too expensive, and they're too too good of friends. With that being said, folks, I'm the Ancient Warrior. And remember, it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. And if you're prepping, then you're a free man or woman. Have a blessed day.